a story of the dog that fell in a hole. And uh, the picture that I've used there is not the real dog. So don't stress. No dogs were in, in the making of the story. Although the real story is based on a lady who was walking her dog in Melbourne, where I live, at a place called Jack Madigan Reserve. And if you see on the map, there's a, a big lake, at, uh, sort of green looking. That's called the Newport Lakes Reserve. And just to the south of that, there's a small park that's called Jack Madigan Reserve. So I recently heard about the story and I thought it was interesting. And that's why I thought I'd make a YouTube about it. So as you can see, there's a few aerial photos that um, I've borrowed from somewhere else where they show the quarries at the Newport Reserve and it's over time. The first one is an aerial photo from 1945 and the Jack Madigan Reserve is to the south of, of uh, Mason Road. It's a small um, little park. And the next photo is of the same area in 1973. And you'll see that where the park is, there's a small building with a white building. And the other photo is from 1991. And the last photo, which I've also used at the start, is what it looks like today. And <clears throat> the story is told of this lady who was walking her, her dog in Jack Madigan Reserve and the dog fell down a hole. And that shouldn't be because parks are supposed to be safe. And so they did some investigation and they went through the aerial photographs to try and work out what was the previous land use there and that's why I've included the photos here and if you look closely at the 1945 one you'll see that basically the whole of Jack Madigan Reserve is camouflaged and if you know anything about anything about history the world was at war in 1945 and so Jack Madigan Reserve was actually an old quarry that they had then turned into an oil storage facility and they built some concrete walls and they braced the walls against the quarry rock face with some timber struts and in my next photo here you can actually see um what it looked like back then so it's a bit zoomed in and what happened was that uh that park or that quarry was used to store oil for the for the navy and as you can see on the next map if you go about a kilometer east you get to the yarra river but they didn't want to put an oil storage depot straight next to the river that can be easily bombed so they put it about a kilometer inland and then camouflaged it to disguise it so that's quite clever and then eventually the facility got decommissioned i think the site got used for something else for a while but eventually they filled it in uh, but they couldn't really fill in properly around the outside of the tank where the braces go to the rock face of the quarry wall. And I think they put some timber and just soil uh, loosely in there. It basically wasn't completely. So over time, people forgot about this facility and why it was there. And then some of that soil settled and probably some of the other uh, rubbish that was in there rotted and then that's why there was a hole and so uh, that holes the holes have subsequently been fixed although i've been told there's one little corner 
that they just can't get to. Um, so anyway, I guess the moral of the story is the park should be safe except for one little corner, which I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that's the story of the dog that fell in the hole. I thought it was an interesting story. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.